Adopt a child is when your first hour adopts a child so that they can have presents to open at Christmas morning. It starts November 30th and ends December 11th. And of course all these kids want to have a great Christmas and the only way they will be able to is if we help out. That's super cool. Yeah, so make sure you guys are bringing in gifts and stuff for your uh, adopted child to your first hour. It starts uh, November 30th and ends December 11th. So make sure they have a good Christmas. I'm here with the Z Money. So, Zach, what do you think the team's success is based on this year? It's probably uh, my boy Ryan and uh, Oliver and Gage, and then me a little bit with my dance-offs and slides. So, what else do you like about the basketball games? Um, the energy we have, um, our team playing well this year. We we went 15-0. And we lost a couple, but we're keeping our heads high, and we're going to play well. All right, well, there you have it. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place, singing, we will, we will. I'm senior Oliver Goulet. I've been a freshman, sophomore, and a junior. I've seen it all, and I know we're about to win Friday. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell third. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. I'm here with senior linebacker Gage Gonzalez. What does this game Friday mean to us? Uh, this game is a very important one. Uh, Rockford has beat us the past 14 years, and they've made the playoffs 21 straight years in a row. So uh, they're barely hanging on right now, and if we can knock them out. Uh, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a good game. So come on, support. I'm here with senior quarterback Luke Baker. Yeah, that's right. The Luke Baker. What does this game Friday mean to you? Um, this game means a lot to me. Um, it's our final game as seniors at home. Um, it would be a big deal to beat Rockford and knock them out of the playoffs. Uh, it would be awesome. I'm here with two of the black hole leaders, Jacob Zimmerman and Drew Andre. So guys, what does this game Friday mean to you? Well, you know, it means a lot, Oliver. Uh, we've lost to Rockford the past 14 years, you know. It's time to break the streak. We're coming in as the underdogs. we got to win this game, you know, last home game. Also... It's going to be a jersey out tonight, so come out, support, and have a great time, guys. Jordan Belford. Jordan Belford. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belford. Snacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Jordan Belford. Good morning, West Idol. I'm Oliver Galay, reporting from WOBN. And over this past November, I have recently interviewed a few students about how their No Shave November is going. So let's take a look. Hear a knock on the door when the night begins. I'm here with Sam Lehman, and he is participating in No Shave November. Sam, what makes you participate in No Shave November? Well, I really think it's a good cause, and uh, we're two weeks in, and it's coming strong. Still got two weeks to go. We'll see how far we get. And three weeks later. 
Cause we've done this before, so you come. I'm here with Drew Andre, and he is also participating in No Shave November. Drew, what makes you participate in this month? Um, well, I think it's a really good idea, and it's a lot of fun. After 17 days, you know, I got a full beard going on here. It's pretty nice. One eternity later. I'm here with Mitch Williams. So, two weeks in, how do you think your beard's coming? I think it's coming in pretty well. Better than I thought it'd be two weeks in, but hopefully it gets bigger. I'm looking forward to seeing how it, go how it goes. And welcome to my house, baby. Few inches later. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Well, I'm Ethan. And I'm Oliver. It looks like we have a very average show for you today, so stay tuned. <laughs> West Ottawa Young Republicans will hold a meeting on Thursday, March 17 at 7 a.m. Come to room A236 in the North High School to discuss upcoming Young Republican events, current political issues, and campaign service opportunities. Contact Jacob Wilson or McKenna Stam with any questions. This after-school men's choir meets once a week, Monday nights, for rehearsal and dinner meal. Rehearsals begin at spring break and Monday, April 11th, continue until the West Ottawa High School Spring Choir Concert, May 25th. The choir is for 6th through 12th grade students, dads, uncles, brothers, grandfathers, and friends. This is the 13th year for a highly regarded, woe, all-male choir. Singing well is not a requirement, but coming to rehearsal is. Registration and information is available in both North and South offices. Make sure to donate $1 for your name on a green culvert or $5 on a gold culvert to help support Muscular Dystrophy Association. Ever heard of the name Z-Money? If not, Oliver made a little video on him, so let's roll with it. I'm here with the Z Money. So, Zach, what do you think the team's success is based on this year? It's probably uh, my boy Ryan and uh, Oliver and Gage, and then me a little bit with my dance offs and slides. So, what else do you like about the basketball games? Um, the energy we have, um, our team playing well this year. We've, we went 15 0. And we lost a couple, but we're keeping our heads high. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday, you got mud on your... The Cooking Club will have its next meeting today, March 15th. We'll be making breakfast. Please bring $3 to help pay for the cost of supplies. We'll be meeting in room A138. If you have any qu questions, please email Tori Schwanauer at 19TFS01 at WestOttawa.net. Calling all juniors. Your ACT and work keys are behind you, and now it's time to start thinking about your senior year. Beginning this Friday through the first part of April, you'll be invited to join a group of like-minded juniors. Please check out your West Ottawa email for dates, time, and place for this meeting. You will also be given a pass prior to the meeting so that your attendance will be verified. We hope that you will but we'll find this to be a valuable opportunity to start thinking about next year. Seniors, it's not too late to file for FAFSA. This is the best way to get free money for, to go to college. 
Remember to email, tweet, or bring Ms. Leacher your FASFL confirmation page to be entered into a raffle for a pair of prom tickets. Two more winners will receive an Am Amazon gift card. The last day to submit letters will be March 27th. MC trials for senior Oscars will be held on March. Er, well, let me start. MC trials for senior Oscars will be held today during seminar in the LGI room. Come prepared with a short script that shows off your skills. Even if you have already signed up to be a presenter, you can still try out. Results are in. Students who have applied for the Tech Center next year, please check your West Ottawa email address to see the results of your application. Once you have checked your email, log into Infinite Campus to look at your course request. If you need to make any changes, please make an appointment to see your counselor. Allie made a video about FAFSA. Let's check it out. She like the world don't love you. They only wanna push you away. Some days people don't see you. FAFSA is free application for federal student aid. It's basically like the one thing you need to do to get money to pay for school. And right now, West Ottawa only has like 32% of seniors completing their FAFSA, which is pretty sad. It'd be really exciting to see a lot more people do it. It's something that every senior needs to do, regardless of where they're going to go, if they know where they're going to go after high school, or if they haven't chosen the school. I am super excited to help anyone out who thinks they need help or doesn't know where to start. Another important thing is that the FAFSA is required for all of the West Ottawa internal scholarships. So if you're thinking about applying for any of the um, almost 50 scholarships that we as a high school offer, you'll need to have your FAFSA done. I applied to FAFSA. I applied to FAFSA. I applied to FAFSA. I applied for 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 FAFSA. The West Ottawa Gay Strain Alliance meeting will hold in Mr. Kukla's room, 602 South, after school Wednesday. He will be working on plans of the Day of Silence and want to know more about the Day of Silence or help the GSA make West Ottawa a better place for all students. Please stop by. Seniors, you need to be signed up for Jungle soon or you may be moved off of the bus sign up. Don't miss the graduation celebration. Have a good one. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, West Ottawa. And happy Monday. Seniors, we only have two Mondays left, so let's close it out strong. If you are interested in helping to create next year's yearbook, please consider joining the yearbook staff. To become a part of the yearbook staff, you must complete a yearbook staff application. Please stop by Mr. Drenick's room, 171 in the North Building, to pick up an application. These applications should be done and returned to Mr. Drenick by Monday, May 9. West Ottawa High School competitive dance team auditions for the 2016-2017 season will take place on Tuesday, May 17th and Wednesday, May 18th from 6 to 9 p.m. in the North Building Dance Room. Uh, the Young Americans are bringing their summer camp here to West Ottawa June 14 to June 18. Get a flyer from the office or go to the website youngamericans.org slash summer camps. Don't miss this opportunity. The Young Americans are a music, dance, and acting group based outside of Los Angeles, California. We tour the world performing in Europe, Africa, Japan, Australia, Russia, the United Kingdom, and of course, as our name suggests, all over America. For the Young Americans, it's more than music to us. 
Out of all of the 300 young Americans, 40 of them were selected to make a tour stop right here at your school. I just loved the energy of, you know, of the people and coming together and making something awesome. This must be a really big deal if they want you to hang out with us and try this. We take your favorite music like Taylor Swift, Katy Perry, Walk the Moon, whatever type of music you like, we build a show around it for you and your friends to perform. The awesome part is, we teach you all you'll need to know. Like totally gonna be so much fun. Some of you are thinking, I don't sing, I don't dance, I don't like being on stage. Don't worry, we are in this together. And if you are someone who doesn't like people, and you don't like having fun, and you don't like laughing, and you don't like when others are having fun, well just trust us. We guarantee you'll change your mind in the first 15 minutes of this party. This feeling, rising through the ceiling, singing. At the end of the three days, there's going to be a big thank you for being a part of the workshop and hanging out with us. We want to show you that we are willing to do all the crazy things that we'll ask you to do. The Young Americans are going to put on a whole show for you and your families. It's going to be awesome. This is an experience of a lifetime. Over 700,000 students across the world have taken part in these exciting events, and now it's your school's turn which means it's your turn. With Young Americans, it's exciting, it's fun, it's friendly, and you get to meet a lot of really, really cool people. Out of thousands of cities, the Young Americans are stopping here at your school for three days. Come and join us. Junior members of National Honor Society, if you would like to serve as an officer for next year, please contact Mr. Taylor by Friday, May 13th. For more details, post it on the National Honor Society Facebook page. Open mat workout for cheerleading will take place on May 4th from 3.15 to 5 in South High School mat room. 130 students maintain a 4.0 GPA or increase their GPA by one point. Were you one of those students? We want to help you celebrate your success. If you received a coupon for a Sunday, remember to bring it to either cafeteria on Friday, May 6th to get your ice cream sundae. Principals will be ready to scoop you some ice cream during either lunch. All boys entering grades 9 to 11 interested in playing soccer next fall are invited to attend a player and parent meeting on May 4 from 6 to 7.30 in the North High School Library. Doors will be open at 5.30 for parents to register their contact information. Game Club is every Wednesday in room 209 South from 3 to 4 p.m. Come and play your favorite board game or card game. Everyone is welcome. Dual enrollment meeting will be held today at 4.30 p.m. in the LGI. Kendall College will offer three dual enrollment classes in the fall. Drawing, Vredevo, Digital Photography, Kelly, and Color, Kukla. 2016-2017 Vocalaires and Select Women's Ensemble audition information is available at the North Reception Desk and the South Office. If you have any questions, see or email Mrs. Pearson. Seniors, get ready for a list of important dates. Put these on your calendar right now. Senior Oscar Night is May 12 at 7 p.m. Senior exams will be May 19 and 20. The last day of school for seniors is May 20. Senior breakfast, convocation, and graduation rehearsal is May 24. And lastly, graduation is May 26 with the overnight jungle party that evening. The West Ottawa Young Republicans will be holding a meeting on Tuesday, May 3 at 7 a.m. Come to Mr. Van Zayn's room, A236, in the North High School, to enjoy a donut while catching up on your morning dose of politics. Attention Costa Rica travelers. We will have a meeting Thursday, May 5th in the LGI room at 7 p.m. Please bring two copies of your passport to this meeting. See your Spanish teacher for details. Well, well, it looks like our outstanding show is over. Have a good one. <laughs>